Good afternoon, you lovely lot. Welcome to Monday's edition of Masterclass, where we step you through, well, a masterclass of certain products. This is all going to be about, well, we say box making. Uh, we have had, it's only Monday, a very busy morning already, even before we went live on Crafters TV for Wake Up Call. You've been shopping in your droves, and you know what? I don't blame you, because we've got incredible deals across there on the website. Now, first things first, we want to let you know we have got our Tis the Season sale going on. Now, it is actually going to be ending midnight on Friday. So that's going to be 11.59 p.m. your time, wherever you are across the globe on Friday. So you've got from now right up until Friday to take advantage. And if you're saying, yeah, but Craig, see, been there, got ahead of you, already been shopping, uh, new lines have been added today. So go across there onto our website, .co.uk, .com or .eu. Check that Tis the Season sale where you're going to find some new lines that have been added. So, uh, yes, we are. I know it's crazy to think in the, what we, 3rd of July that we're already talking, thinking about and creating for Christmas, but this is the perfect opportunity for you to do that. Not necessarily if it is you are making and selling. Of course, starting early is the perfect time to do that because then you can get a head start with all of your creations ready to sell to your family and your friends at craft fairs and craft clubs and crops etc etc 
But even if you just give your Christmas cards, you may can sell more Christmas cards this time of the year than any other time or occasion. So therefore, that's why you need to get a head start. So take, take advantage of that Tis the Season sale across there on the website. The other thing you'll be able to take advantage for this week only, and that is to save an additional five. So that's five pound, five dollars or five euros. Now, as I say, it is this week only. It's one use per customer. There is no minimum spend. And the only thing that it excludes is our gift card. So whatever you see when it comes to the shows, or even on that website, when it gets to the checkout in that promo code, what I do need you to put is summer. So that's S-U-M-M-E-R in the promo code, and that's going to take five off. Now, it can be an individual item, or it can be your basket is going to take a fiver off. So you can take advantage of that one. So shop wisely. This is where you might want to then check out that Tis the Season sale. Have a look on Shop the Day as well. This is where you're going to want to shop for essentials to take advantage of that fiver. It's there for you to take, so you may as well use it. You do have all week for you to decide what you want to use it on, but once you've used it once, that is it. It's gone. On. you can't use it again so you can do that one straight away but with this one as I say it is all about masterclass it's all about our box making we're back together again we were uh, had a, a really really fun and busy and creative show earlier on with wake up call and she's back we're going to do it for round two of three today aren't we Michelle we absolutely are yes we absolutely and if round one is anything to go by round two and round three are going to be great <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say about that one. That could mean many, many different things. Um, <laughs> as I was saying at the start of the start of the show, there, Michelle, how you let's let's face it, some of the demos you'd already prepped and got organised can't necessarily do them because the products are gone. I know you've been buying everything. I've got all these demos prepped, and you're buying it and selling it out. And what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> but that's all right. You buy away, because that means that I've done my job without even doing my job. There you are. <laughs> Touché. There's always, there's always, you know, there's always the good way to look at something. Exactly, exactly, <laughs> absolutely. So what are we going to have a look at? Oh, we ha are going to have a look at the Ultimate Pro. So I've got that here already. We're going to go through the Ultimate Pro, and then I'm going to show you um, the extra board, which is the Envella box maker. Um, I'm always asked how to do those um, envelopes, mm -hmm. so we're going we're gonna to show you how to do that. I've got, um, we've got the concertina, I'm just having a look at my prep. We've got the concertina border dies, we've got one of those little, um, the prism box uh, die, a uh, couple of other things, uh, and probably anything that my producer asked me to do, I'm going to have to do. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Yeah, so we do. We've got Dean and we've got Charlotte in the gallery. Johnny is there. Johnny's doing a George, essentially. Johnny's doing a George. Joking. Just joking. Jo Johnny's working very, very busy. Lot of work there. He's sitting on the floor in his laptop and doing a lot, a lot of work. Is he not on the floor? No, he's not. No. Oh, oh, they've given him a chair. They've given him a chair. He's given, so they've given kind. him a chair. <laughs> given him a chair, yeah, yeah. That's all that he's going to get. He's not going to get a desk. No, just a chair. He's got a chair. a chair, that's the main thing. <laughs> but we do, we have got Dean, we've got Charlotte in the gallery, and uh, we do have Johnny as well. We've got Jacob out, and we've even got, Liv is in the day as well this week, uh, Tracy's, uh, Tracy's daughter doing some work experience, so she's given Jake a helping hand. So it's lovely having a full team today. And not only that, we've got Susie T for the rest of the day. Today Who? on the socials, <laughs> we've <Who>? got... <laughs> Susie? Not Stacey T, not like Stacey. I said at the end of Wake Up Call earlier on. It's definitely Susie T. We don't have an additional team member. Uh, that is Stacey T. It's definitely <laughs> Susie T. And she's taken over from Rachel. She's going to be here with us for the remaining of today. But she's saying uh, hi to us all. Well, hi to you, Susie T. We've got the man, the legend, he's back in. Mr. Ben McCarthy is in saying good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ben. We've got Cindy Conde saying excited for boxes. Beth Malone is saying good morning and happy Monday. Lois is in as well saying good morning everyone from Ohio. Lynn Blackledge, hashtag go live granny saying good afternoon from a sunny Isle of Wight. Start to get sunny now. The rain stopped and the, the sunshine's coming out. Valerie's in saying good morning everyone from Arizona. Heather Springer saying hello from Ohio. I'm so excited about this master classes. Who doesn't love a good masterclass when it comes to boxes? 
Christine Mahone is in saying, good morning, everyone. Wow, Craig, I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. It feels like forever since I've been last here. So uh, it's lovely to see your name popping up as well as everyone else. And Susie T is saying, hi, didn't know I had a change of name to Stacey. <laughs> I'm just going to call her Stacey now. I'm just going to call her Stacey. Stacey T. But it is, of course, Susie T. Right, let's get started. With it being Monday, we've got a brand new pick of the day for you, and this is our pigment ink pads. Now, this is a living pack collection where these are the pigment ones. So straight away, I like to use them with my embossing powders, but you can really get that real build-up of colour and tone when it comes to these, as well as being water-based too. So you've got your Lagoon, you've got your Twilight Grey, you've also got your Damson Wine, you've then got your Pink Tulip, You've then also got your Spring Meadow. You've got your Spa Blue. You've then got your Bordeaux. You've got your Seal Brown. You've also got your Baby Blue. You've then also got your Misty Morning. And then you've also got your Oasis as well. So that's the 11 of these ones that you're getting within your brand new pick of the day. £38 or $58. Now you've got a really good save in there where you're saving $27.89 or $40.89. Now when it comes to the platinum price, you are going to be £30.40 or $46.40. With it being your pick of the day, it does mean as well you're going to get the double points too. Now the pick of the day means it's going to last right up until just before our new one starts tomorrow, just before wake up call or stock dependent. Now, what I was doing earlier on is I kind of had a little workout where seven of these ones, they would come at to £41.93 or $62.93. So that's for seven of them. But look at that price again. You're getting 11 of them for £38 or $58. So you're getting 11 for less than the price of seven of them. So in other ways, it's kind of like you're getting four and a bit for free. Platinum being £30.40 or $46.40. Of course, this might be where you're going to be using that save five as well, where you can get five or off. Whatever it is that you like with that one-time use code, go into the promo code on checkout. Put summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. That's going to take off that fiver as well. So that's then, of course, going to come down to, well, platinum price, $25.40 or $41.40 for all 11 of these pick of the day ink pads, pigment ink pads from Spectrum Noir. So you might want to go for that one. And then let's have a look at the Ultimate Pro. So we've got our Ultimate Pro here, the free boxer board as well. Now, not only are you going to get that, you're going to get 25 sheets of cardstock, not just any cardstock, it's Centura Peril cardstock, and it's A3. It is A3 Centura Peril cardstock, Plus, you're going to get your tape runner as well. Now, when it comes to this one here, you're straight away, as I say, you are getting your Centura Peril A3 cardstock, 310 GSM. Perfect for this sort of show being the masterclass and box making. It is your snow white, and this one is your single-sided. And then you've got your full 22 meter in length tape runner. So this is also great for construction. So if you're not a big fan of your wet glue, then your tape runner will absolutely do the job when it comes to construction, as well as mats and layers. But within this bundle, what you are going to be getting is your boxer board. So all these items so far, these three are all coming to you for free. So you've got all of these different sizes, different depths of boxes that you can be making with your boxer board. You have your inches, you have your centimetres, and then you've got your box lid and box base at each side. And you might just see from here, it's got these little corners here which will actually nestle inside your Ultimate Pro. So this is what you are paying for. You are going to be paying for your Ultimate Pro. Just say this one here is the metric one. We do have the UK and the US one, but this one here that I'm showing you is $39.99 or $69.95. Your savings covering what you are getting for free, of course, that being the cardstock as well as the tape runner, as well as the boxer board. Now, that means you're saving $31.97 or $40.93, but you've got that platinum price at $31.99 or $55.96. Or, of course, if you want, if you are paying that platinum price, any price, but if you're paying that, paying that platinum price, then this one is then going to come down to $26.99 or $50.96 if you take advantage of that uh, fiver off in the promo code where you're going to put in summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. 
That's your Ultimate Pro, your card blank maker, your paper trimmer, your bow maker, your envelope maker, your box maker, your card blank maker, your envelope maker, embosser as well. So many things that you can do with this one here. And this is a tool in itself. It's what I say, and many say as well, it's what kind of catapulted Sarah and Crafter's Companion to, well, we are, what are we? We are 18 this year, aren't we? Yeah. 18 we are going to be Crafter's Companion, which is absolutely scary. So if our birthday events over the last two years have anything to go by, gosh only knows what we're going to be doing for our 18th birthday. None of us know, but I know next door, they're already planning that. I bet you they've been planning it for like a year or so already, yes. with it being the big yeah. one, 18 this year. Now, with this one here, as I said, $39.99 or $69.95. So that's your Ultimate Pro with your free boxer board, Centura Pearl cardstock, and also your tape runner too. Then it's about masterclassing and box making, isn't it? So let's bring in one of my most used scoreboards, and that is your score master. But you're also going to get your envelope box creator as well. Now, within these ones here, it's your score master board as well as your envelope box creator. Two pack. Now, you've got both of these. Both of these are coming to you. £20, $20. If you're platinum, that's then going to come down to £16 or $16. Or, of course, take advantage of saving that fiver that you can take, uh, well, take advantage of this week. One use per customer, that's then, of course, going to come down to 11 That would be £11, won't it? That's crazy. Yes. £11 or $11 platinum price for both of these. Now, this one here, this one being your score master, you've got your centimetres, you've got your inches as well, eighth of an inch here. So you can do really big, sizable boxes. So lid on one side, you've then got the base on the opposite side. You do get a scoring tool as well. Or if you just want to use it as a generic scoreboard, you can absolutely do that too. But the different heights, depths and widths of the boxes is incredible. You do get a little guide to go with it. Also, just to say, when it comes to guides and measurements and that, you'll also find them on the download section of our website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. So if you ever lose them, you know that they're always there for you to refer to. And then, what about making all your different size envelopes and different uh, depths as well, up to like uh, three quarters of an inch as well when it comes to these ones here. Now, with these ones, you will see you've got the notches here. So therefore, it will slot nicely into your Ultimate Pro. However, this works as a complete standalone board. You do not have to have the Ultimate Pro to use this. It just sits in it nicely and you can use it together, but you don't have to. You're going to be able to do different sizes and different depths of your envelopes for your card making, but both of them are coming together with the instruction guide for the envelope box creator. Lots of different measurements. All that I'm going to say, if this is the first time you're seeing it, please, please, please do not be put off by all of these numbers and all of these grids. Once you start to use it, once you watch past shows when it comes to the score master and envelopes creator you'll know it really is quite simple to use lots of it there on your youtube for you to go back to and watch and get inspired from but you are going to get both of these ones together 20 pound or 20 dollars you're going to save over 20 percent but if you're platinum price that's going to come down to 16 pound or 16 dollars take advantage of that save five in the promo code at checkout being summer just pop in su M M E R, and then that's going to take that fiver off. So you're going to get that for eleven pound or eleven dollars. But it's all there across on the website. Uh, go into shop the day on .co.uk.com or .eu. Have a little peruse. What I would say is stock up on essentials. At the end of wake up call, we did have a lovely selection of essentials for you to then be taking advantage of. Watercolour card, heat proof acetate. We've got red liner tape, and so much more is there for you to check out. And while we've got Michelle here, anything you want to ask her, if there's anything you're unsure of when it comes to box making or boxes, then of course get in contact with Susie and we'll read their comments and questions all the way throughout today. But I think that is enough for me. We're going to go across to Michelle and we're going to have a look at the Ultimate Pro and what you can do. I'm just wondering who Susie is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Su Who Susie? Stacy. Stacy. <laughs> Stacy. <laughs> You actually uh, threw me there. I was like, have I said it again? <laughs> um, so the ultimate pro, it really is the ultimate bit of kit that you are going to need 
and want and use day in day out in your craft room so we'll we'll go through it like we always do um, if you've got one of these or you've used one of these before um, let us know in the comments because those who haven't got one it might just sway them towards um, buying one so straight away on here um, if I turn this round um, you have got measurements for all your different card sizes so you've got a gatefold A5 and that, that line is also for your concertina A5. You've got gatefold A4, you've got your trifold A4, uh, half fold A5, five inch square fold, half fold A4. So what you're going to be doing on this side is you're going to be getting your piece of card. So if it's your A4 or your A5, um, so let's just say it's A4, what you're going to do is you go into Put your card and you're going to butt it up to the handle. Okay. Always remember to butt it up to the handle because that's technically the top. So if you remember in the top, then you know that your score line, whichever one you're going to use, um, is going to work perfectly. So if I just go in very simply for you guys on this half fold A4, having that up nice and net, uh, neat to that top bit, you're just going to score across and it's going to score absolutely lovely. You're going to flip it over. I'm going to bring in this one because I always find it easier to score with this one, but obviously you can with that one. Score your line, you've got a beautiful A4 card. Now that is as simple and as easy it is, as it is. It's going to be the same for your other items on there. But then what you've also got is you've got these lovely decorative um, lines going across that okay. means when you pop the bottom of your card on, um, you can emboss into these. So if I just bring that, just you're going to follow it along nice and easy. Once you get uh, going uh, in that um, indentation, it's quite easy to pop that on the bottom of your card. So you can have that on the bottom of your card as a lovely, you can see that beautiful emboss there. Can you see that? Yeah, you can, you can, yeah. Put it back down, can you see? Ah, you can see it better that way. Uh, so you've got that lovely emboss. You can keep that as an emboss. You can bring your scissors in and cut that and you've got a lovely decorative edge to your card base. It, entirely up to you. So that is that side of the board. So I'm going to take my little clip off. Now you're going to want to keep your eye on this because they've got a tendency to just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then you're opening it up and what you've got here is you've got your little buckler, you've got your ruler and scarring, you've got some of these lovely little um, pegs that you're going to be able to use to create bows with. You've got a couple of your scarring tools which go in there and then you've got this lovely little mouse. So we'll go over these bits in a minute but let's have a look through this. So this is your little booklet that you're going to get that comes with this. And it's literally going to go over everything that your box can do for you or your Ultimate Pro can do for you. So if you're thinking, you know, you're not going to remember everything that I've said, you've got it all in here. And it literally goes through everything, card making, bow making, box making, envelope making, all your different um, cards that you can be creating with this. And it's nice and simply wrote. It's not instructions that you know, you sort of get halfway through and you f you, you yeah. s a little bit lost. Because sometimes instructions can absolutely be they that. Can, can't but they? this is so simply row and you've got little top tips in there as well. Uh, you've also got um, little instructions here. It shows you how to make a pop-out card, but it also then goes on to say if you've got a different size card, what you can be doing with it. So lots and lots of, uh, it's inspiration as well. Your K cards, your bow making. Basic box techniques and then your shaped boxes. The magic ruler technique, which allows you to be able to make um, a box to fit whatever item it is that you are sort of um, wanting to create one for. Uh, apertures, wedge boxes, envelope making, even your three golden rules there. Um, and then just envelopes, or envelope boxes, sorry. And then you do have certain sizes on here. This board on here goes up to a certain size. If you want in anything bigger, that is when you're going to bring in your extra boxer board or your extra envelope box. Uh, and as Craig was saying earlier, they fit perfectly on here and also stand alone as well. 
and then your decorative embossing. So it literally, it, the paper trimmer and the mouse cutter even explains your embossing tool for you. Um, so we're going to pop that in here. So I'm just going to pop these out mm -hmm. for now. And then we're going to pop into the middle section of the box. Um, and again, what you have got here is on this side, you've got your box base. And on this side here, you've got your box lid. So very much like any of our scoreboards, um, you know to be pu putting your card up to here if you're wanting to create your box base. And then you're going to butt it up to this side to create your box lid. And again, when you put them together, um, they're going to fit beautifully. Now, you've got a um, centimetre ruler across here and you've got an inch ruler across the bottom. So you've got, you know, the, you've got both imperial and metric in here and then these notches here these are going to allow you to create box lids and bases in half inch increments so up to one two three and a half inches um, we have got on here and again anything bigger you're going to bring in your boxer board or one of your big scoreboards i mean we've got that beautiful a3 scoreboard which is the one i always use and then you've got this lovely item as well so this is your ruler and again, you've got centimetres and inches on it. So depending on what you work in, it's all there for you. And then you've got this lovely little mouse. So I'm just going to It's not an open. actual mouse, though, is it? It's not an actual it's a, danger that's mouse. That's a good one, a little, Michelle. A little uh, bit, yeah, Charlotte, danger, danger mouse. mouse. Um, <laughs> it just takes a normal standard um, blade that you can get from any hardware shop, store, anything like that. Um, and what you've got is um, you've got sort of two notches in this. If I place it on that one, it covers, it brings the blade in. So when this is closed, it's absolutely safe. When I want to use it, I'm just going to move that over. And then I'm going to close this off. And then you can see that I've got my blade there. So if I'm going to pop this in and I just want to trim this down a little bit, I'm going to line it up with that... Um, half inch line on there and what you need to do is you can see this moves so make sure you butt it up to here when you mm -hmm. are using your little mouse and then you're going to pop that in that little channel you're going to bring it down mine moved because I wasn't holding it properly and it's going to give you a beautiful cut so that is what that's for and again you've got the inches and centimeters and then we're just going to simply pop these back open okay we're going to move our blade back over and that means once we close it and we store it away it's nice and safe so pop those there and again so on this side you've got those lovely apertures you've got two little notches here and here so again it means that you can put your card up to that side um score round that aperture on that side uh, and what it allows you to do is then cut it in half and it's going to give you that aperture on the middle of your card so you can see you've got the butterfly the star the like arched window and that one yeah it's like the uh, it's like an, an oval square isn't yes, it yes yeah i'm or glad you said rectangle. that <laughs> yeah an oval square or dean will get this squared circle yes <laughs> right so let's pop <laughs> rest that back in terminology there and oh i've show you those in a second this bit is extremely handy because if you've got all those spare boards which i know you're going to be getting because they work beautifully i'm going to start store a couple of those in there and then bringing it over to this side again you've got lots more goodiness on here this is where you're going to be able to create your envelopes your flat envelopes and um a certain depth only a small depth it's just a small depth of envelope box on here but again that's when you're going to bring in your extra boards so you've got your letters so if i show you if i get that um pamphlet that comes with it mm -hmm. you've got the sizings on here so c and e so you've got a b c d e f so you're going to pop it in the corresponding um, um channel and again, it allows you to create certain sizes. And then here, do you know what? I love these bits. As simple as this is, the corners of your envelopes, you're going to pop that in there lovely on either side. So the, the corner of your envelope that you're going to fold over and you're going to be able to pop that lovely embossed detail. So you've got the heart. 
So just by popping it in there, you're going to emboss through. And it just, again, it just makes your envelopes that little bit special. More embossed detail for you to put on your cards or your envelopes here. So literally every space of this is, um, is used for something quite useful. So if you pop these in here, you can see you've got five different... I did have a big piece of ribbon. Let's see if I can find it. Watch of course, it's disappeared when I want it. Let's bring this in. I love it when I find goodies next to me that aren't mine. <laughs> they just go in your craft bag after. <laughs> Accidentally falls in there. Accidentally. Accidentally. Um, so we could, I mean, most of us, I was going to say we can all make a bow. That's um, when, when we do it just like this. I think Corinne was saying the other day that she can't um, do it. So, you know, very simply, we can create just a bow with our fingers. But actually, if you want to do the ones that I do, and I always do the ones with like two, three or four loops, this is what you're going to use. Depending on how wide you want it, you're just going to hook it round. You're going to wrap it round two, three, four, five, six times. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put that knot in there like you would if you tie in your shoelaces. You're going to bring it up and over. Mm -hmm. Put a little bow on that side again. Give it a pull. And then when you take it off... Check that out. You have got that multi... Let me just grab that bit. Multi bunny eared because I always call them bunny ears, bow. Look how lovely it is, just so pulling all your extra pieces out. How cool is that? Just, there we go. So again, depending on how long your piece of ribbon is, you can obviously make this as big as you want. But how cute does it look? So that is what enables you to do this. So this, absolutely, up, even including your bows as the accessory on your box, you can be creating those. But shall I bring in the, the envelope box? Yeah, let's do and it. And I'll show you how to make um, one of those. Because that is one thing I get asked more than anything. I'm the same. Yeah, I'm the same. And I think, I think it's like you said, I think people look at those instructions and, and panic. It was like we were saying with the colouring earlier, we sort of have a look and think, actually, no, and we don't do it. Um, so you can see that my envelope, envelope box creator fits perfectly on there. Don't have to pop it on there if I don't want to. It's a scoreboard. It works absolutely fine on its own. And again, you can see we've even got these decorative elements for your corners of your envelopes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you in here. So I'll bring it round again, instructions for you. But these are all your sizings. So if you work in centimetres, you've got your centimetres here and it shows your flat envelope. You've got 12 mil depth and again, you're still in centimetres, 18 mil depth and a 24 mil depth. I absolutely get lost in centimetres, so I'm going to go over to the inches. So again, you've got a flat envelope and these are all the different sizings for a flat envelope. For a half inch deep envelope, um, three quarters of an inch deep and an inch deep envelope so if we go for the the inch deep just um just because um what size card do you have do you have a five by five card or a five we'll go five by six so you can see the difference um when you are sort of flicking your card round so if your card is five inches by six inches, you're just going to do what we did at school on those charts. We're going to come across here to the middle. Now that's telling you, you need a piece of card that is 10 inches by 10 inches. And then it's going to tell you the letters that you need to use on here. But don't forget this bit because it's also telling you what positions you need to use. So I need G, where is it? G and I, but I also need positions one and four because that's what's going to give me that inch depth. Mm -hmm. so, so if you've ever tried to do this and you've thought it hasn't worked, have you remembered this bit? Because yeah. I, many, many times, I always forget that bit and then I think, oh, that's why. So I'll bring in just, I'll bring in some plain card so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I thought if I do it on pattern, it might get a little bit lost. So we want to cut it down to 10 inches. So I'm just going to bring in my guillotine quickly and we will trim this down. 
to 10 by 10. So just lining that up. You might actually find that cardstock on the website, the 12 by 12 one in all of those selection of colours. Yes, yeah. I love any kind of textured cardstock and happily we have lots. <laughs> Uh, so before I carry on, again here, so in the white, this means that you can use an A4 piece of card to create your um, envelope box. If it's in blue, it tells you here what size of card you're going to need. So you're going to need A3 or a 12 by 12 piece of card to start with. And then if you have got a, um, a measurement in the yellow, it means that you're going to require a larger size card stock. So up to this. Um, if you've got a card that is 8 by 8 you're going to need a piece of card from your stash that is 13 and a half by 13 and a half but we're 5 by 6 aren't we so 10 inches so we're going to go to G and I and positions 1 and 4 so position 1 is here and we're going to go to G so your two opposite sides here are going to be G and then these two sides are going to be your eye so pop it in there I'm going to go to G and score down that line now remember we wanted positions one and four mm -hmm. so we're going to bring it up here into number four and you've got a notch here as well that allows you to keep it nice and straight and we're going to go into G again so give that a nice good score you're going to turn it all the way around, 180 degrees, and we're going to go to G on that position number one. There we go. And then position number four, so we're going to move it all the way up there. We're going to line it up, and we're going to go to G again. Score that. Right, so the other two sides. We're still on positions one and four, so we're going to start at number one and we're going to go to I because that was the other letter it mm -hmm. asked us to go to. So always remembering um, if you've got those two letters, just remembering it's your opposite sides. So number four, still, we're going to pop it up there and we're going to go, we're on I, aren't we? I'm going to go to I. I, I. I, I. All the way around 180 degrees. Pop it in that first one, which is number one, and we're going to go down the I. Pop it up to number four. Again, remembering you can line it up there, lovely. And we're going to go to I. Now, you can be doing this with your pattern paper as well, which means you can tie in your envelope perfectly. Nice. How lovely would that be? Um, to your whatever card it is you've made. So you can see that I've got two score lines on each and that is my inch depth. So very much like a box, we're going to score all four sides on both of those. I mean, I could use, I don't really need to because it's giving it a nice good burnish it is, isn't it? without using it, uh, my bone folder, to be honest. Right, so you can see how that's coming together straight away. So what you're going to decide now is you're going to decide which is going to be your opening. Do you want that to be the top of your box or your envelope box or this piece? So for me, it's going to be that piece. So what I'm going to do first is I trim this away first. So those corner pieces, are you going to trim away? So there's going to be like three scarred pieces in there. I'm going to trim that away first. I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to trim those away as well on that side. There With a snip of those scissors, eh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you can see that's how it's going to fold over. So now, on this bottom bit, we just need to create that tab. So we're going to snip all the way down there to that scar line there. I'm going to put a little wedge in because I always do when I create my little tabs. Let's snip that tiny corner away. And then I'm going to do the same here. Turn that over to snip that away. Let me just... Come on. Put a little... 
um, angle on it. And then you can see that that's my tab. And it's going to glue Easy, over it? just like that. So you're going to do exactly the same on this side. You're going to snip all the way down and put that little wedge in. Just to say very quickly as well, while Michelle's doing that bit, um, the reason I've specifically stayed a lot more quiet than usual is answering what Beth's saying, Shadai's saying, just a few of you saying, Michelle, you have explained this the most easiest way I have seen. I now know how to put one together like oh. this, using it and the instructions. So that's why I was specifically, purposely, staying really quite quiet for those that were uh, finding it very easy to follow, and they're going to be saving this video. Oh, oh, that's good. You always, I always, I always worry that when I'm talking away, if you that you understand yourself perfectly. So I, w I always worry that um, others aren't necessarily going to understand. Which is why you'll hear me say a lot, does that make sense? Yeah, does that make yeah. sense? Because well, then that if absolutely it does to so many. Yep. So I flicked it to the outside. I've put some red liner tape on the outside. Um, you can you be using your wet glues if you want, because obviously when those come over, they're gonna tuck in. And then what you need to do is you're gonna have to put a little bit of glue here and here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with my thinner red liner. Okay. I'm going to pop it up there and remembering not to go all the way to the top because again um can you remember yesterday when i said what, when i'm creating something i'll do a bit of a measurement or a bit of a cut and then i will check that everything's all right and then i will carry on so if i bring this in um you can see where you need to put the red line yeah. tape so i need to make sure that i'm not going further than that and you can tuck that you could put a scar mark and tuck that over if you want but i actually like my box is to have that lovely pointy bit there. So just bringing that all the way down there. And again, if you've got any of your other glues that you want to use, absolutely use them. Just means that you're holding it um, for a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do it this way so I don't have to. And then we're gonna pray that um, <laughs> my red liner tape doesn't stick to something before I've got it straight because it happens. So just lifting that off and then remembering those on here. Just try and get that red liner tape off my finger, it wouldn't come off. So I'm gonna take, tuck my tab under first. There we go, get a nice lovely corner on that. And exactly the same, I'm gonna tuck that Get that lovely corner, give it a good burnish. And then the good thing is, what because you, you've got that straight line there, you know that it needs to match that there. So then when you stick it down, it's going to go exactly where you need it to be. There we go. So lining that up with there. I'm very happy. Um, if you could see the big cheesy grin on my face right now. I can now, see it, that's, yeah. <laughs> I can see that's it. that's come together beautifully. And then um, bringing this back in. Remember, you've got all these little corner embellishments that you can be putting on the corner of this um, box. But that is um, my box. How cool is that? So cool. So simple, but so, so easy to follow. And these are all, all saying, after I said what I said there, so many more were just coming in again, just saying, Michelle, find that so, so easy to follow. I'm going to be saving it. <laughs> Christine Mahoney, no, no, no. It's great you're not t talking every second, Craig. Easy to follow. Um, and just, I think that's it when you're crafted as well. You know where, you know, you want le to learn. You know where you want to then just spend that little bit of time just focusing on when it comes to following Michelle's instructions. So uh, just, again, so much love for what Michelle just done. And I think not necessarily for what you've done, Michelle, it's the way that you've explained how to do that box yes. in that depth that you've got there. So that was, uh, that Michelle was using there is from the Scoremaster and the Envelope Box Creator that you can then be getting creative with in all these different sizes. Remember, different thicknesses as well as smaller or larger if you want to, as to what Michelle was just showing you there. But you are going to get them both. So you're going to be getting the Scoremaster. Now the Scoremaster essentially is that larger form of a box maker. You do have your centimetres, you do have your inches as well, at the eighth of an inch. 
you've got your scorn tool that just sits nicely in top there. If you do want to then just take a or use these as a generic scoreboard, you can absolutely do that, no problem whatsoever. But by having this extra length, it just means if you are doing any projects where you need to score point to point, it makes it visually a lot easier for you to do that. This is, uh, it, although I use my A3 one like Michelle does as well, this is my most used scoreboard, my score master. I use it so, so much. You don't really need any major measurement instructions for this one, uh, but you do get a little bit of an inspiration guide. And then this is what Michelle was just using right now. Now this one here, it is fab with, yes, the card that you can use, but the pattern paper that you can use. Let's not forget, go in and go in with your inks or your shimmer sprays or that, decorate your own cardstock and then start to create your envelopes from that one if you want to. Please don't think that you can't do simple, small, thin, generic envelopes. You absolutely can do. This just gives you the versatility of making them bigger and bolder if you want to. You're going to get all of the instructions as well. If you know me in the, the folder I've shown you in the past, I have mine in a binder. What I also done is I printed them off the website and then laminated them. Of course, you could just chop this up and laminate it if you want, uh, but it is uh, there for you to do that if you so wish. Now, what you have got is both of these together 20 pound or 20 dollars you're going to be saving over 20 percent on both of these ones here if you are platinum level that's then going to come down to 16 pound or 16 dollars please remember all week up till friday you've got the ability to take advantage of saving an extra fiver so that is running all week it is one use per customer there's no minimum spend but it is one use per customer so once you know what you want to get whether it's a single item like this or whether you want to pop a few things in your bag it. Once you get to the checkout, what you do need to do is just put in SUMMER, S-U-M-M-E-R, in the promo code at checkout, and that's going to take that fiver off. So you might want to take advantage of that. So if you are platinum, that would then come down to £11 or $11 for both of these ones here, which is phenomenal. Uh, do shop wisely, though, when you're taking advantage of that uh, fiver, but it's there, pounds, dollars and euros, if you so wish. The Ultimate Pro Bundle in that that Michelle was using, that's there on Shop the Day as well. If you want to check that one out in more detail remember you get the ultimate pro but you're getting the scoreboard as well as your a3 card and your tape runner as well for free so you might want to use your fiber on that one but when it comes to all of these what we do need is cardstock and let me tell you i i am dumbfounded that we still have some of this left for masterclass i thought we'd have gone within wake up call uh, i'm kind of glad that we've still got a small amount left over so those that didn't see wake up call could take advantage of this one and this is the ultimate card bundle now you've got over 200 sheets of cardstock and foil card as well you've got a3 you've got a4 you've got linen you've got resist as well all within this bundle here your uh, your details will come up just in a minute but the 55 pound or 75 dollars if you are platinum for all of this one here, you're going to be £44 or $60. If there is anything to take advantage of that one-time use fiver of code, this is going to be it. This is my opinion. This is what I would say I'd be taking advantage when it comes to all of this here. Now, for that price, £55 or $75, for that platinum, £44 or $60, means this is what you're going to be getting. Now, you're going to be getting 24 sheets of your 8x8 eight eight Resist cardstock. Now, you have got all of these six designs in beautifully foiled designs, but essentially the cardstock is like a white multi-purpose. So go over with your inks, go over with your shimmer inks, your sprays, your water reactive if you want to. Make it look sexy. Give me a wolf whistle, Michelle. Sweet swoo. <laughs> <laughs> that whistle. <laughs> Actually, I think I quite like that one. I quite like that one. This on its own is worth $14.99 or $19.99, and you've got four sheets of each. Then what you're also going to be getting is your linen cardstock from the Sunflower Collection. You are going to be getting six colours and four of each. That's worth $14.99 or $19.95. These are the most gorgeous 
colours that you're getting within that linen cardstock. So, so vibrant, but you've got that flexibility from the yellow light tones into the lilacs, into the deep foliage colours. So you're getting them as well. These are A4 in size, 250 GSM, and you're getting six of each colour. These ones here, 24 sheets in total. Then, still with the linen, can't believe that we've got this from the Venetian collection in this bundle as well. This is also worth $14.99 or $19.95 on its own. You've got an additional six colours and you've got four of each as well. Now, totally opposite end of the scale of colours from the sunflower, but they're still going to complement. Look at that. Look how well they're still going to complement beautifully. But you've got your deeper tones there, you've got your baby blues, you've got your mints, you've got your pinks and your orange tones as well. Six colours, four of each, that's from Venetian. Remember, this isn't an option, you're getting everything that I'm showing you. It's back in stock at last. And what do we do? We put it in flipping good bundle. Put it in a bundle. Yeah. Yeah, we put it in. This one here, this is worth $11.99 or $14.95. 280 GSM and you've got 50 sheets of your craft card. Boss it, cut it, trim it, foil it, ink it. We can do what you want with it, but that's in this bundle as well. We all need black card stock. That's in there. That's worth a tenner or $15. 300 GSM, 40 sheets. That's in there as well. We are giving you double-sided A3 fresh white 310 GSM Centura Peril. 20 sheets of these ones here. So essentially chop it in half. That's giving you another 40 A4 sheets. That's worth $11.99 or $17.95. That's in the bundle there. And one of my favourites, you know I love my pastel tones, pastel A3 Centura Peril card. You've got five colours. You're getting four of each, 310 GSM. They are for if you are good with your mass, not that you need to be good with your mass, that means you're going to get 20 sheets in total. $11.99 or $17.99. That's what it would be on its own. But you're getting all of that, so your A3 pastel, your double-sided fresh white Centura Peril, your black matte cardstock, your back and stock craft cardstock, your linen cardstock from Venetian that's just launched the other week there. You've got your sunflower linen cardstock and you've got your foiled resist 8x8 dragonfly pad. All of that is coming to you for £55 or $75. Take advantage of that, say, five. That then means that you're going to get that for £50 or $70. I do want to keep re-emphasising the fact that it is one use. So take advantage and shop sensibly. But getting all of that for £50 or $70, even better if your platinum price comes down to £44, which then would be £39 or $60 for you guys stateside. That if you're taking advantage advantage of saving that fiver, you would get all of that for $55 platinum price, which is exceptional. That's why I say, if I had to say to any of you, any main bundle as such to take advantage of that, go for it because it's limited time only. Once it is gone, it is absolutely gone. I did tell you earlier on in Wake Up Call, the, the quantities that we had, we went into Wake Up Call with just around about 20 left. Can't believe it, we've still got a few. Won't be long before we go limited stock, so keep that one in mind. Um, but you've got an absolute exceptional saving when it comes to that ultimate card bundle. So much so, uh, Dean's just told me that a lot of you popped it into your basket. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break. We're going to uh, have a little recap. We'll read your comments when we come back. We'll go back to Michelle, but in that meantime, check out your basket and uh, we'll have a little look at Tis the Season. La 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 Oh, hello. You caught me in full Christmas swing decking the halls. Yeah, I know it's summer, but for crafters, tis the season to get started on those Christmassy projects. You can get an extra head start on our Tis the Season sale. We've got up to 70% off hundreds of Christmas crafting goodies. Shop with us from the 26th of June till the 8th of July for a snowstorm of amazing seasonal offers. 
From stamps and dies to shimmering and snowy embellishments, this is our early Christmas gift to you. So many amazing offers you won't want to miss out on. Tune in to Crafters TV and shop the Crafters Companion website for our fabulous Tis the Season sale. Mm. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten to put me um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you king. just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire 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 Um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some. <gasps> there we go. That's all the fun that we have. That's why we always say to Michelle, is your water covered up? <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Uh, right, a lot of love for what Michelle was just showing you, the way that she explained when it comes to the uh, envelopes maker. We've got many, many, many of you tuning in. We've got Crafty, Stacey Lucy, sat in my hotel in a wet and cold Aberdeen, having a cup of tea, watching CCTV. What a great afternoon. Love Aberdeen. Oh, it's got great, great, um, not a big theme park, but it's got, I still call it Cadonas. That's what it was called when I was younger. But it's also called uh, Sunset Boulevard, right in the promenade. Uh, Charlotte's asking how far is Aberdeen from here? So from my, so from m mine and Carnoustie, where my parents are, it's an hour drive. So if I was to come from here, it's pretty much going to be like five hour drive. But yeah, it's not, it's not far. It's not far. It's a nice little drive up to Aberdeen, uh, way up north. We have also got. Uh, oh, so our Susie off the back side, right? I think I've always put the. British flag for Aberdeen. So it's, Scot it's Scotland, is it? Yeah, so Aberdeen, Scotland, uh, Susie. It is indeed, way up north there. Rosalind Russell is on Facebook saying, I love making envelopes to match my cards, including the booklet guide was a definite plus. It's simple. I appreciate you saying that, Rosalind, because and we, we always openly say, I think at first glance, when you see that guide, you are kind of a little bit, oh my gosh. That's a lot to take in. But simply breaking it down the exact way that Michelle just showed you there, it really simplifies it. Once you get your mind around the first measurement of the envelope that you make it, it really is quite uh, free-flowing when it comes into the other ones. So I appreciate you saying that. Robbie Hendrick on Facebook saying, these beautiful envelope liners would look great in these. Yes, they would do, wouldn't they? 
They really, really would be. You guys stay outside. You might want to know. Susie T is telling you how we look on the HSN. They might have little bits across there when it comes to the envelope liners. Cindy Condé on YouTube is saying, it's the little tips like that, how to line it up that makes all the difference. It's what we're here for as well. Yes, you know, really inspired in demonstrations and craft alongs and master classes, but it's the little hints and tips as well. Mary Silla on YouTube is saying, Michelle, I have a question, please. I've got the Ultimate UK. Why... So, okay, okay, so I think I know where we're going with this one. Why when I follow instructions and measurements and the measurements won't come out that I want? What am I doing wrong? So I'm going to read that one again. A question, please. I've got the ultimate UK. Why when I follow the instruction and measurements and the measurements won't come out that I want? What am I doing wrong? Okay, it's not where I was going with that one. I was thinking that you've got the US one and then you're following the UK measurements. That's yeah, what I was that's thinking. that's what I was thinking. Unless you've got the UK one and you're following the US measurements. Yeah. I'm wondering if that might be... It's the only thing I... Other than, kind of stating the obvious, so I apologise for this one, other than making sure your cardstock is the right size, I think maybe if you've got the UK one, you're maybe following the US measurements. Yeah, yeah, double-check those. Um, double check those, double check um, that you've got the sort of correct ones. And then if you have, um, you know, post another message and, and say, I oh, forgot to say, Michelle, you, this is what I mean, do you know? <laughs> and then maybe we'll be able to help you a little bit more. Right, yo. Yes, hope, hopefully. Let us know if needed. Uh, we've got our Hendrik is saying, I love master classes and keep learning from them. This is definitely going to be one to use and save. Excellent. That's what we'll love to hear. Crafty Stacey Lou on YouTube is saying, that car pundle is calling my name. Get in there quick. We've got Stephanie Theodos is saying, good afternoon or good morning, everyone from Farmdale, New Jersey. Hope everyone is having a lovely Monday. We are, I think we are anyway. You and Michelle? Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Crafty Stacey Lou is also saying, six hours on the train from Leeds, but it's a lovely journey. Beautiful views of the coast. That's way up to Aberdeen, it is. And Liz McLean on Facebook saying, Aberdeen is beautiful. Where I live now, where you are. Look, there's some great shops and great sites as well. Real uh, fishing town as well. I used to watch, we'd done a programme, not that many people would understand it, on the BBC in the UK, where it was a camera crew that just followed uh, the fishermen away up at Aberdeen and Peterhead and that, well, trust me, you know, even I struggle to understand sometimes, <laughs> but it was fascinating. What fishermen and fisherwomen now go through on the seas yes. is whoa, stormy weather never. sometimes. Mm -mm. Yeah. Really, really rocky, rocky weather. I don't know if I could deal with that one, but yeah, take my hat off to all of you that go out to the sea, that's for sure. But let's have a look now, some crafty items. And let's have a look at the shadow box. This is our dimensional four by six shadow box. This is 21 dies in total. I cannot tell you how excited Dean is about this one here. $19.99 or $24. No, it's not, that's a total lie. $22.47. <laughs> Oh, we're an hour in, we're all right, we're all right. $19.99 or $22.47. If you are platinum, that's going to come down to $15.99 or $17.98. Now, this one here, it works out today as half price. You're saving £20 or $22.48. Of course, you're going to be even better than that if you take advantage of that save five at the promo code of SUMMER, S-U-M-M-E-R. Now, this one here, it is a sizable die, but it's all about creating that shadow box frame for your photos. Maybe, of course, you're going to use it for memorabilia or maybe some of your home decor, but you've got the full die set, 21 dies in total here. Now, I know Michelle will go through it in a wee bit more detail just in a moment, but as I said beforehand, all the different dies that you've got that you're going to be able to use to create that framework here. Now, you will need your OG Gemini for this one here. So it is just that the actual outer die that Michelle will show you, but the actual outer die is just a little bit too big for your junior, but you will need your A4 Gemini or other die cutting machine. But when it comes to this one here, $19.99, $22.47, or as Dean just quite rightly pointed out, absolutely it will work in your uh, G2, no problem whatsoever. 
Another one that I love, another one I use quite often, Michelle. I remember uh, last year I used it for, um, went away for the day and framed the receipt from, from the day. It's oh, just a nice way as a little yes. keepsake memento when it comes to the shadow box dies. What is it that you love about them? It's a box. It's a box, I love a box. Yeah. It's you as love a box. simple as that. If it's a box, if it's a little bit of construction in there, I absolutely love it. Um, and I love making these shadow boxes. So I've been making these for many, many years. Um, the measurements, again, you know, can be a bit of a, a, a pain in the behind. So the fact that we've give you these shadow boxes that just means you can run it through, score your lines, fold them, and you make that box without having to worry about your measurements and things like that makes it just so, so much easier. So that means that actually you can get onto the next step, which is decorating it, um, doing whatever it is, all that fun bit um, with these. So you can see it's huge, just fits on your um, Gemini plate. So this is the six by four one. So I'm gonna move that to the side, but firstly, you do have some instructions in here um you i mean again you once you've made one you won't need these at all it's just showing you step by step exactly what to do uh, which is always a bonus so this you are getting so much in here so this is your main worker die that is going to create your shadow box this is your dies that's going to create the mat and layer on in on the inside and you've got four different decorative corners and then you get all these dies as well. Some cut into your um, edges, some cut um, out so you can mat and layer. And you can see you've got the smaller ones for the four inch top. You've got the longer ones for the, the six inch side. So lots and lots and lots of metal in this for your money. So let's pop this off. Okay. And show you just how easy it is to make one of these so let me pop those to the side so i'm going to bring in my plate and you can see my a4 piece of card fits on there perfectly and then this just fits on there perfectly as well so it's this way that uh, means that it's definitely not going to go through anything smaller so if you want this one you must have either your gemini og or your gemini 2. I'm just looking for a little bit of tape. Okay. Just so it doesn't move at all. And then we're going to pop it through. So the, the same plate combination as for all of our thin metal dies, which is your base plate. I'm going to use my magnetic, my plastic, and then my top plate. So pop that on and then just uh, run that through. Whether um, you use them as singularly, I remember a, a, a while back that I used one kind of like side by side as a bit of home decor, yes. so to the left or to the right, or you can yeah. go up and down. So versatile. Yes, because you could go into the sh you can go into the shops and you can buy those frames for your walls that have got four, six, eight, ten of mm -hmm. those smaller ones on there. Um, you know, in different ways. I remember seeing that. I thought it was absolutely stunning, Craig. Um, I remember that um, frame thing in my box. Thingy my bob. It's the official word when you can't remember what the word is. Thingy my bob. Thingy my bob. But yes, these are absolutely perfect for making things like that. You can really go to town with your home decor pieces with this. Absolutely. So let's pop that off and just pop that over there. So you can see straight away, I've got all those score lines in there. All and there together, yeah. Yeah, really wonderful. So the first thing you want to do is score all of those lines. So just make, they all need to be lovely and scored. Or scored well. So just going in, and even that teeny tiny one there, just needs to be scarred well because these are going to be creating the sides of your boxes um, or your box so they need to be scarred well because you want the sides to all be nice and neat and straight so you're just going to carry on scarring <laughs> all those bring that one up when i've got um a little tab that's very very um, thin in depth. Mm -hmm. I always pop it underneath to scar it. 
Well, because I, I find sometimes as well, depending on, on, on the card stock, Michelle, it could be a kind of like sandbagging, you know, the way that you're just folding and that, you know. <laughs> Sorry, did I say something there? Totally stand back me there, Craig. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, honest Scott, really, what we need to do is we need to have a day when we're at a head office where there's like. <laughs> Funny thing is that was that is just a generic term. There was nothing meant by that whatsoever. It was just your take on it. <laughs> I know. But the thing we've been having conversations as well, which is what I was gonna say. We need days where you guys get to follow us in between all of our shows and listen to some <laughs> of the conversations that we have. We struck Maybe off. not. Maybe not. But then, so then when I start giggling at something random and you think Michelle's off again, you know exactly why I'm laughing, because you've been like no holds barred. No holds barred. Access all areas. Yeah. Ah, yeah. You're getting the wrestling terms in, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> getting more than me. I know, I'm on a roll. Um, Just going for the pin-up. <laughs> um, what were I doing? What were you doing? <laughs> You were you're folding and burnishing with these I was folding and precise lines. <laughs> yes, that's what I was doing. So what I was saying is these really thin ones, it's when you pop it that way and try to scar it, it's just a little bit more tricky. If you pop it over that way and scar it, you get a better um, scar, you get a better hold on it. So we're going to do all four of these and you can see they all need a real good burnish. And then even these pieces as well. So these are my tabs. So that needs to be folded in that way and then that way as well. So you've got that little tab there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in purely because I've got my tape already on this one. OK. So making sure that these are all scarred over because I think that's all I had left to do. So just scar those last couple. We did used to have as well a, a finished sample where we, you were talking about Michelle about you know having them on the wall, home decor, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But like three, you know, like a not a partition, you know, the, the fold out. Oh, what do you call them? <sighs> oh no, gosh, it's just completely gone out. Completely. I, was, I was away to go and put my head down, and I thought you're not going to see. No, no, that was me, Charlotte. That was me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, what do you call? It? You know, like there's three of them. No, the no, 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 not in the house. Uh, oh, what, what do you call the old? It's not a dresser. The uh, screens. The you know the. the oh, the. Are they, um, uh, we, we've got the dies, haven't we? Yeah. The screen dies, the, the screen, ornate screen dies. Ornate screen dies. You can imagine like doing three of what Michelle's doing and then just kind of concertina the three of them. Yes, yeah. Does that make sense? It does make sense. I know exactly what you mean. Popping three of these someone. together, um, like um, either concertina in them, yeah, yeah, or having like a triptych like mm -hmm. on the old yeah, dressing tables yeah. with the mirrors. Yeah, looks, it would look beautiful, absolutely. But you've got the ability with these to be able to do that, absolutely. Right, so what we're going to do first is you're always going to fold over your longest side. So you're just going to have tape just on that one tab. We're going to take it off. If you, if you prefer wet glue, if you find it easier, do it that way. But what we're going to do is you can see I've got that one, two, three, four 
scars there. You're going to fold that in half and you're going to fold it over in half and you're going to press it down and then when you bring that up you've got your box side perfect and then we're going to do exactly the same on this side so you can see you've got the one two three four pieces and I've got that glue or red liner on that top one you're going to fold that in half and fold it over because then it, it means that you've got it exactly the right width that you need it to be and then those are going to stand up perfectly and then what we need to do is let's take the red liner off those because those are going to pop under there in a minute so let me just get the carrier off those there we go it's when you start to see it come together so for me it's this point here michelle when you start to then pop the top and the bottom part in and you see yeah. that framework come together it absolutely is yeah definitely so you can see i've got my two sides i've turned it around to make it easy for me those are going to tuck under there and then what you're going to do is you can see that this comes here so when we bring this over that's going to tuck under and what you want to do is you just want to put a little bit of glue on these corners so this little corner here and this little corner here is where you need to put some glue so this is where i tend to put wet glue so let me get rid of this and to be honest i normally put wet glue on this these two pieces here because it's just a lot um, easier for you to be able to wiggle it perfectly into place so all I'm going to do is just in that corner there and just in that corner there, we're going to put a little bit of glue on. So we're going to bring that up, we're going to tuck it under while making sure that I've got that lined up and that one pushed in and lined up. And there we go. So just going to hold them just for a minute for that glue to grab. And what I tend to do is if this has gone in at an angle like that way, what I will do is I will just bring, if it's wet glue, obviously, with the red liner tape, it's stuck. But when, with the uh, wet glue, just bring your pokey tool in, just okay. lift it up and bring it out a tiny little bit and it will go straight down rather than, it doesn't really matter, um, but if you know, if you want to be absolutely... Um, a little OCD about it. Mm -hmm. Definitely me. So let me take this, let me see if I can take this fully off. So I'm just going to peel that red liner tape away so I can show you what I mean. So again, we're going to pop some wet glue on that tab. So what I tend to do is once I've got my glue on, I make sure I've spread it and it's on every little bit of that. We're going to pop it just on, remember, that little triangle corner. And then we're going to bring it over. So I'm going to tuck that under and making sure that that's straight with that and that's straight with that. So mine, you can't, I can you see how it's just it's going down on an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring yeah. my poker tool in, just going to lift it out while, before it's dried. And now I've got it perfectly straight. So you're just going to hold these two till that dries, making sure you're putting a little bit of pressure on there till that dries at the bottom. And then when it does, you've got a perfect Look at that. box. So if you, can you see how that one is just angled back a tiny little bit? The thing is, it doesn't matter because when you're looking at it straight on, you you're don't see it, see it at no. all. You know what? I'm, I'm thinking, funny, funny, Dean's just actually said, what would you put inside that box? And I, but I was just a way to say it. Um, do you know what I'm thinking? I'd be thinking for me, I'm going to make a few of these ones in maybe greys and blues. And then I could print out pictures from the weekend when I climbed at O2. Yes. Because I've got some incredible uh, scenes of London, the, sky, uh, the, the skyline in London, uh, from the top of the O2. And then you could just make a little feature, home decor feature. With that them. would look lovely. Absolutely. So these are some of the edge edges, I'm going to call them edgeables then. The edgeables. That you can die cut out that come along with this. And you can see they fit perfectly to those corners 
Mm -hmm. So pop that on there and there. And again, I'm using my dotty. I'm sorry, I'm sure these will be back in soft stock very, very soon. I want to be on the show <laughs> where these come back into stock because it's going to be crazy, it's isn't it? It's going to be cray cray. I wonder how quick they'll... We, well, with any luck, we've ordered more than we did last time. It's just hard to know, I suppose, I isn't know that it, we when do you every order? Time. Every time we do that. We do do it. We do do, do that. Do. <laughs> Just about stopped myself and then tripped myself up and started again. <laughs> I thought I'm going to go through one day and not, not say it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. We even do it at home now when the kids are, or the hubby says it, someone yeah. will go, do do. Yeah, well, when I watch TV and if they say it on TV, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I think I do do. And again, so this is the matte and layer piece that I was showing you that again comes along with this die set there is just so so much in there you could also you could make a lid for this and then if you are giving your husband or your wife or your partner uh, tickets to something and you could set the tickets inside yes you know that that would be that would be good yeah you absolutely could or if you've met a celebrity or that and got a selfie you could do a picture Yes. That'd be a good one. I like the idea of the tickets. That's a great idea. Or if you've got, you know, if it's your first date and you've gone to the cinema and you want to frame those and keep those. Would you do um, cinema on the first date? Uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Lots of people do. They go to the cinema, but I mean, I talk that much. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not I, sure. I think I, first date is a. Yeah, is it, for, for, there's, don't you know? Don't get me wrong. Absolutely nothing wrong with any first date, but I always think you want to speak to them. Do you know where it is? If you're in the, it's it, yeah. If you're in the middle of a, a dark cinema watching a film, it's about yeah. I think I think casual for me. I think maybe a pub meal or a drink. A little walk. Yeah. Oh, do you remember your first? Date with Ben? I do. Yeah. I do. Can you share or not? Um, no, so <laughs> my first date with Ben, my mum should have been um, babysitting Joseph. Right. Uh, and she couldn't. So I rung Ben to cancel and he says, it's fine, he says, we'll take him with us. Uh huh. Um, now, normally I know introducing your kid to someone on a first date, but my dad knew him, he'd worked with him, so I felt okay with yeah. that. Um, so I took Joseph and we took, so where we lived in Castleford, there's Junction 31, so there's like snow, the dry snow there, there's the cinema, then there's lots of amusements and um, things like that. So we took him there um, and we just had a, a real fun time. Joseph absolutely adored, Joseph was about 10, absolutely adored him. We had, he, Ben is just, um, he's a beautiful soul, Aww. is Ben. So um, are you, though, so... Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, Ben is. Uh, he's absolutely wonderful. I sometimes joke that Ben only married me because he loved Joseph so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's sort of, uh, sort of the whole point, because he is, he is just an amazing man. Yeah, uh -huh. So that was our first official day. Well, uh, unofficial. Then our first day after that, it was just... We went to um, the pub in town, which was called The Lamplighter, and we just had drinks, and we just sat for hours chatting. Oh, yeah. okay. so that, see that to, to me that's like perfect date. Yeah, it was it was pretty it was pretty amazing, it really was. Aww. And then um a week later I went to watch um Little Britain Live. Oh did you? I did. And I'd missed him that much that when I got home I said, Will you move in with me? <laughs> so a week later we moved Little him Britain with done me. that to you. Yes. <laughs> A week later, he moved in with me, and then within a year, we had Oliver and were married. Wow. That's love. That's true love. What a story. And you could write that so, out and put it in that. Yes, absolutely. So, if I turn this round for you to look at, a lovely... Um, sorry, wrong way. There you go. Just a lovely frame in there, but again, you could be popping anything inside that frame. 
That is a, that's an absolutely gorgeous demonstration. What a brilliant, gorgeous story as well. I loved hearing that one. But yeah, you know, you could be your photo from your, your first date, of course. It could be, you know, your wedding or engagement. You can pop that inside the shadow box is your dimensional one. It's going to be four by six in size. So not only do you get that worker die that you see Michelle using there, but you've got all your embellishment dies as well. You're going to be able to decorate inside and outside and all the way around if you wanted to. Now, the actual main worker die, you will need your larger die cutting machine, but all the other ones, they will go through your smaller machines, such as your junior, as well as your midi. So that one, $19.99 or $22.47, with a platinum price of $15.99 or $17.98. Of course, you can take advantage of that save five if you want to. We've got that running all week across on our website, whereas you're going to save an additional five pounds dollars or euros. So as I say, it is running all week. It's one use per customer. There's no minimum spend. The only exception is going to be our gift cards. So all that you need to do is decide what you want. It could be a single item or you could take advantage of that fiver off when it comes to your actual basket. All you need to do is go into the promo code right at the very end. You'll see it on the screen there that Charlotte popped up saying some or S-U-M-M-E-R in the promo code and that's going to take off that fiver. As I said, it is working pounds, dollars and euros. Wherever you are, you can take advantage of that. And the great thing is, for me anyway, uh, being a customer, is the no minimum spend. That's also a big help in hand. But if there's nothing that you can think of straight away, have a look at your essentials. These are the good things to take advantage when it comes to the discount. .co.uk, .com or .eu, that's where you need to go. Everything's on shop the day. We've got the Tis the Season sale there. We've got the clearance sale and more information about that save five that you can check out. The other thing you can do while you're crossing the website is join Club Inspire and here's the boss to tell you all about it. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can 
learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special? 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Laurel on Facebook saying, lol, I had a first date with my hubby at the movies and dinner after. Dinner I get, dinner I get. I did have to tell him I wasn't ready to hold hands yet. Oh. Heather Springer on YouTube said, thank you, Michelle, for that tip about pulling out the bottoms of the ends. I was so frustrated because mine were all tilted in. There we go. Good tip for you. See, you've already got the product, so you feel as, of course, you don't need it again, but by watching Michelle, you're able to get these additional hints and tips and get the best use out of what you've already purchased. You've also got Terry Anderson saying, Michelle, your love story brings a tear to my eye. It was lovely. Really nice story. Lynn is saying, beautiful, Michelle, thank you as always. Teresa is saying, lovely. And should I have Facebook saying, my husband and I had a first date. We went out walking by a river and it turned out to hours of walking. Oh, I'm going to read that one again. My husband and I, first date, we went out walking by the river and it turned out to hours of walking all over. We've got, uh, till our feet got tired. So I think you were, essentially you're just saying that you were just walking and walking and walking for yeah. all these hours, going past, till your feet got tired. Then we went and got coconut water from the market. And then we walked home. We learned so much about each other from the five hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, see that's, that's, it's like that night, you know, when you just talk and you just yes. talk and talk and talk and talk. Yeah. One of those nights. Or if you're out walking and talking and talking. Yeah, absolutely. We did that. We spoke, the, well, we spoke for hours and hours on the phone um, because Ben had said, well, I actually asked Ben out. Um, Nothing so, wrong with that. No, but he's, because he works with my dad and he knew my dad, he said, I'd love to go out on a date, but if you don't mind, I'm going to ask your dad's permission first and if he's all right with it. Um, then absolutely. So that particular night, we spoke for about four or five hours on the phone, and I loved it because he's got a London accent. Okay. Um, and I just love um, a proper wide boy Cockney London accent. I didn't understand half of the stuff that he was like saying. Danny Dyer, um, is he? <laughs> yeah. Is that what Ben sounds like, Danny Dyer? Um, not so much anymore, but he's got a, when he when he wants to be, he's got a right old Cockney accent. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and it says ball and ball, but it all sounds the same to him. So when I say there's a ball in the field or should we play ball, he's, it all sounds the same to him, you know, because of that Cockney accent. Yeah, that's like what he's saying sometimes. Carol but it and sounded Carol. lovely. Yeah. Me and Carol and Carol. Yes, yeah. Yeah, sound the same. Yeah. Sound the same. But because I've got the Yorkshire accent and I say things so different, mm -hmm. common. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, I was saying, Charlotte was just saying, what were you saying there? So I was saying Carol as in the female name Carol, and then Car Carl as in the male Carl, uh, K-A. Yeah. But I'll say, you know, Carol and Carol. <laughs> See, me, I'm saying them differently. Yeah, yeah. But to a lot of people, it's like you're just saying exactly the same name. I'm not. It's two different yeah. names. It's what I can hear. Uh, talking about carols, what about some Christmas <laughs> collections for you to get your hands on here? This is your Christmas decorative frame stamp and die six-piece collection, £50 or $59. You are going to be platinum price of £40 or $47. Of course, if you take advantage of saving that fiver, that means this would then come down to £35 or $42.20. 
for all of these. Now these ones here are merrily on high. So this is all about creating that framework when it comes to the project. Maybe it's just on the front of your card blank. Maybe you want to frame a photo or maybe a stamped image or just a sentiment, but you've got your sentiment stamps as well. Now these cut in or cut out. I love the dashing through this. See, I can't say it without singing. You You've have got to, to sing, sing it, don't you? And I always do the, the quick version, dashing through the snow, from Christmas with the Cranks, with Jamie Lee Curtis oh, and Tim I Allen. You know, when they're hiding from all of them that are in the choir outside. Uh, yeah. Yes. Two, two of my favourite actors. Tim Allen, love Tim Allen. He's great in the Santa Claus as well. And then opposite end of the scale, you've then got J Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, which is just epic. Epic. Christmas foliage, you've got that one as well. You've then also got your home for Christmas. I mean, look at that one, do little bits of fussy cutting, go in with your gems, go in with your perils. Remember, you've got different sentiment stamps to go with each one. And let's not forget, each of these ones are a cut in or cut out. We've then got Follow That Star. That just reminds me of the scene from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, when he's having a look at the sky and his mum's looking at the sky from... Uh, where were they? Oh, Florida, wasn't it? Yes. He was in New York. And then you've got Fall in Snow. So you've got the Fall in Snow within that one there. So maybe if you want to build a little snowman and pop the snowman in there, you could do. But you've got that one there. Little gems or perils would work really well in the centre of them. £50 or $59, you've got that save it. Well, essentially half price, isn't it, when you see that save in there. £50 or $59 with a platinum price of £40 or $47.20. So that's your six-piece selection of your Christmas decorative frames. Now, although you've got sentiment stamps in there, maybe you want to get your hands on another little set here. And these are such a lovely set to have within your stash. If you've not already got your hands on these ones, I would highly recommend popping them into your basket. If you don't purchase anything else, then this is definitely a winner, that's for sure. And you can still take advantage of that save five for there be no minimum spend. We have got our stamp and dies. So this is our Christmas fancy sentiment stamp and die five piece collection. Now what you have got is you've got your large sentiment stamp that will work in conjunction with the die. So you can die cut it and stamp or vice versa. That gives you a separate sentiment component. But then what you've also got as well is a separate greeting stamp. So it could be season's greetings and you can then pop them, you know, as far away from each other as you want to or different angles if you want to. It's up to yourself, but they're separate sentiments. We've got the same concept with all of these. You've got let it snow. So you've got let it being one little diddy little sentiment stamp and then snow being the larger stamp with the die. You've then also got Jingle All The Way, absolutely epic Christmas film with Arnold Schwarzenegger that Ben absolutely loves as well, our Ben here on Crafters TV. You've then also got Believe in the Magic. So Believe, I always think, not actually Christmas, you know American Pie, do you believe in magic? Yes. Do, do, do. Yeah, that, 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 that scene, yeah, that scene, that's where I think of that one. And then you've also got Merry Christmas as well. So you'll get the same stamp there that says Merry, but then you've got the die and then Christmas too. All of them £17 or $22 with a platinum price of $13.60 or $17.60 where you can take advantage of that save five if you want to. It's your Christmas fancy sentiment stamp and die collection. These are another ones that are across there on the website. Shop the day for you to check out. Now, maybe you want to really start to create a scene when it comes to the projects, and that is our Christmas 3D scene building collection. Now, when it comes to this one here, you've got stamps, you've got dies, and these ones here are giving you 72 elements in total. Now, what you are going to be getting is two sets. Now, within each one here, one of them, you're going to be getting 36 elements. And then in the other one as well, you're going to be getting an additional 36 elements. This is all about that build ability. This is that scene building where you've then got the uh, kind of Santa in his workshop. You've then got the elves. You've also got all of the bunting, the North Pole sign, sentiment stamps as well to go with the dies. But then what you've got is that uh, rooftop as well with Santa in the sleigh. You've got that skyline back drop you know these buildings would be good for holidays if you've been to of course Seattle or New York or London or anywhere like that with the skyline you can absolutely use it however it is predominantly Christmas themed 
So you've got both of these ones here, 72 elements in total, just to give you a very, very rough idea as to how you can use these ones here. There is a specific concept that's written in step-by-step -step form within each of the packs here, but you can, of course, use them in many, many different ways. And then look at this one here, absolutely spectacular. So if you want to go above and beyond, you can absolutely do that. Or maybe you want to use it for your scrapbook pages that our Nicole has done within this one here. That's up to yourself. All of that, £26 or $32. You are going to be platinum price of £20.80 or $25.60. So if you're taking advantage of that, say five on this one, that one at platinum price would come down to £15.80 or $20.60. 60 for all of that. Remember, as though I'm seeing them on individual items, that save five essentially is off your basket. One time use as well. So pop a few things in there and then take that five or off. But that's your Christmas scene building. And then you'll need somewhere to pop that in or maybe you just want a really, really good shopping basket when you're out there in the craft stores or you're out there at craft fairs or maybe you just want to cunt things from one room to another. We've got our easy to organise. This one is our Cindy tote bag. Really, really spacious when it comes to the black with the plastic here. You see it, you're then going to be using it. So it tend to say as well when it comes to storage. Now it's so, so strong all the way around the stitch in at the top, down the sides. What you've got with the handles as well is the handles continue and are stitched all the way around and underneath and up the opposite side. So therefore, you know, it is going to be so, so strong. You're going to be able to pop a lot in there. Question that we do get asked uh, quite often, as I would say, and Tiffany says it as well, when you say, how much can it hold? Well, if it is too heavy for you to lift, then of course it's too heavy. But as long as you can lift it, these straps will absolutely maintain the weight, no problem whatsoever. So if you like your big bottles of fizzy juice, like your two litre ones or any of your diluting juice, anything like that, then you're going to be able to store them in there or carry them. All white clean. You've got your additional pockets as well. You've got your little keychain hook on the opposite side too. So that's your easy to organise. That's your Cindy tote bag. Now that was available over the weekend and it was very, very popular. Do you know what wasn't available over the weekend? Was that save five. So if you want to go for this one, you can take five pound dollars or euros off of this one here. So all you need to do is in that promo code, put summer, S-U-M-M-E-R. And I keep saying it as one time use because I just want you to be aware that, you know, uh, shop wisely when it comes to using that uh, summer, S-U-M-M-E-R, no minimum spend, which is great, because something like this, you would sometimes find that, you know, oh, there's only so much that you can spend, not at all, one-time use, maybe you're going to go for that one there. Uh, the only thing it does exclude, the only one thing, and that is our gift cards. Other than that, you can take advantage of that one for sure. £17 or $20, saving 30%. And then we're going to go into another box. This is what this one is all about, the Masterclass being your box making Masterclass with Michelle. And we've got our ornate Gemini box. This one here is the box die. It is the small one. This is $9.99 or $14.97. You're saving £10 or $14.98. If you are platinum, that's then going to come down to $7.99 or $11.98. Now, it is the outer casing of the boxes that you can create. Please do not think that you are limited in the sizes of the boxes because you are absolutely not. It will all become apparent in a moment. But this one here, 18 elements in total with the die. You've got your layer dies inside, your flower dies, embellishment dies, lots of different ones that you're going to be able to use, including a little stencil, which I won't tell you about. We're going to jump across to Michelle because I think we're going to have a look at them. This is me in a die, small but mighty. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, you can make anything with this die from a four-sided box to five to six to seven. And the reason that you can do that, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, the reason you can do that is because it includes this stencil. Now, what I love about this stencil, obviously, besides the fact that it's a stencil, is this is what's going to allow you to figure out um, those bigger box sizes. So you can see here, obviously this one here says it's your four-sided base, which you probably won't use this particular stencil for. But if you want to go to the eight-sided base, so what you're going to do is like any stencil, 
you're going to put those mark lines in all the way round and then bear with there we go so all the way round so you've got that half there and then you're going to bring this back round to this side you're going to join it up and you're going to carry on and what you're okay. going to do is you're going to cut this out either with your scissors on your guillotine um, whatever it is that you use that you find easier your craft knife entirely up to you so there you go so there I've got my base so then that what that means is when I've got all my sides I'm going to be able to glue them to this base and that's going to create me this big box and what you can also do is use this to create the lid as well so if you've gone for that eight sided box you're going to be able to again cut this out mat and layer it up um, and pop it on as a box lid so it's as easy and as simple as that again to go from your far sided all the way up to those 10 sided boxes just mm -hmm. with the addition of that simple stencil and again what else I love about this is you've got all these little elements in here and I've not got a clue what I've just done with mine okay. I've literally oh, I've just used it it's here this is your box side um, be it four or ten entirely up to you these are all your matte layer pieces so you've got them for the lid as well as the side so as well as those um, little bits that are here so let's pop this through um, the machine and I'm going to bring this in because again it's going to fit on here absolutely perfect so turning it over pop it in the middle and I'll run it through so if you sat watching us on a night and you don't want your machine on because you don't want to miss some of my fabulous jokes no, you're going to bring out your Gemini um, midi or your Gemini mini depending on what you're doing or coronation street streets getting too good and you don't want to yes, miss what's going on there that's it absolutely so our neighbours some... coming back in a couple of months' time. You I miss cannot that. wait. I Me and you both. <laughs> so you've got your lovely um, side. So we're going to fold those over. And we're going to fold the top as well and the bottom. And what I love about this piece, so you've got this little element here. Let me just bring in my pokey tool. So on, on a couple of these, uh, again, depending on how big you're making a box, we can pop these at the top. There's this one or there's another one. We're going to tape it in place. And then what that allows us to do is it allows us to obviously create that hole that um, means we can thread our ribbon through. And it's going to allow us to obviously close that top. So let's just pop that off. And you can see, it's a little wonky, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so you've got that lovely um, ability to uh, thread your ribbon. Mm -hmm. So I've got four sides now. And I've got a square cut out, so either with the, the stencil or you do have um, a matte layer piece here that you can use as well. So then what all you're going to do with this is we're going to glue all four of our sides to this base but before we do we've got oh well i've got um just some squares of gorgeous pattern paper cut out so we're just going to pop these on the sides first so let me just scar this one as well okay i'm going to try card and stock. sorry beautiful cardstock i love that color I, i'm not sure where i got it from where did i get it from is it the wildflowers I think it's wild, but I have got it wrote down somewhere. I have so many little notes um, that I put in with each of my prep packs to say mm -hmm. um, what card and paper I've used. But then um, I lose them. <laughs> I have them all next to me and then they just disappear. A bit like my sentiments. They just uh, get up and walk as well. My mum used to say that to me, you know, when I'd lost something. She used to say, well, it hasn't grown legs and walks. My it must be somewhere. That, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's not helpful at all. Or when someone says, well, when did you last have it? <laughs> well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? <laughs> Retrace your steps. 
OK, thanks, that's helped. <laughs> People always say the most unhelpful things when okay, you need yeah. the most help. Like, don't go there, just help me look. Don't need your wisdom. <laughs> Remember when the last time you saw it? I'm mm -hmm. like, no. No. None of that. Because we wouldn't be in this situation right now, hunting for it, if I remembered <laughs> where I last had it. Okay. So that's three. Let's just pop this last one on. And the thing is, because these sides are square, you can mat and layer these up as well. It don't matter that the, you know you don't need all the extra dies just to create mm -hmm. these squares. If you've got some of your nesting dies, the stitched edge or anything like that, that you want to use to mat and layer up um, to give it a bit of a different look, look lovely with some circle. Um, nesting dies sort of mat and laid up on there. Right, so just scoring those back on themselves. So remembering that my two with the hole need to be on opposite sides. Then we're just going to glue them to this box. So it's entirely up to you. I'm going to pop mine on the outside. So I'm going to pop it over there. So when you look at the bottom, it's nice and hidden away. So let's glue that on there, pop that. And the thing, another thing actually, if you are making these boxes and you don't want to mat and layer all these four pieces over, you can trim it down. So just, you've just got the tabs that are going on the bottom, but I'm gonna leave them all on because I think it adds that strength. I, yeah, I think it does. Yeah. So pop this one on. Especially if you're using these as, as wedding favours um, and you've got those sugared almonds in that no one ever eats, but you always get at a wedding. Is that just me? <laughs> no, you're right. I like, uh, 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 gosh, how do I say this without, without your guys' mind going? I, I, I like the, the, the sugary taste around the outside and then I decant of the rest of it afterwards, if you catch my drift. Yeah, yes, that's exactly what I did. I do, the thing is sugar, sweets, cre uh, chocolate, definitely, but that awful almond in the middle, it's like, who came up with that idea? Who, who so, would do that? So don't forget, you need to glue those two pieces together as well. Yeah, someone who uh, maybe didn't want people at their wedding, they were like, let's give, sugared almonds as the little um, wedding favour and then no one will come. <laughs> Let's lure them in with a lovely sweet outer shell. Yeah. Although in saying that, I, I do like peanuts and stuff like that. But like... Um, pistachios, I love. Yeah, I do. I love nuts. Don't get me wrong, I've popped... Um, <laughs> Where are still here? Oh, lovely box. <laughs> um, yeah, but wedding fame. What about weight and balloons down? Helium balloons? <laughs> Maybe put stones or something in that. Lovely. If you want to get some car stock, <laughs> we've got a good bundle coming up just next. <laughs> <laughs> 
not much left. $9.99 or $14.97. You can be making what Michelle's making. <laughs> Platinum prices, seven ninety-nine or eleven ninety-eight. <sighs> Lovely, you can use the smaller machines as well. You like your junior committee. And then you don't have to do these little hoops either if you don't want to, additional die. Christmas theme for your Christmas paper if you want. Or what about the, okay, you wouldn't be able to do the whole of the ornate box, but use that inner die for the, where the Michelle has done the pattern paper with that resist pad that's in that card bundle that we're going to show you just shortly. You can do that. You can absolutely do that, no problem whatsoever. <laughs> that one being your ornate box die. Take advantage of that save five, of course, you can do that. <laughs> there we go. So you do have all those extra de decorative elements in there. Um, but just remembering, just you've got that square base on the bottom. Don't forget to glue your sides, and then that's how easy that comes together. Pretty, really, really pretty. Really, really pretty, really love that one. You just tr seriously try not to look at each other. We're going to set each other off. That one there being your ornate box die, it's $9.99 or $14.97. You're going to be saving £10 or $14.98. You've got that platinum price of $7.99 or $11.98. Of course, if you do want to use this one to take advantage of that save five, then you can do that. That's going to bring that down even more. But you've seen that just that one way in which you can use it that Michelle was showing you, but then start to use that template and then you can make it bigger and wider and more substantial if you so wish. Really, really good as well, being able to use your Gemini Junior or MIDI to create such a sizable box. And we always refer to, of course, the Gemini because in our opinion, and many of you at home and other people in other companies in the craft industry will tell you that the Gemini is absolutely the best machine. However, you can absolutely use any other die cutting machine size dependent. Uh, right, Tio, before we have a look at this card bundle, let's have a look at demo of the show because we've got just a few moments to go. So we'll get the votes in. So we can get the line up with Michelle and then we can have a look at this card bundle before we announce the re results. Right, Tio, Michelle, what have we done? Number one is the shadow box die. And number two is um, the... Um, little box <laughs> this one what is it called the little, box. the little yeah ornate thank you so that's number two um so just one and two um, my first demo was showing you the um envelop box mm -hmm. and everything so just these two to vote on there you go you've got a couple to choose from uh right let's have a look at this ultimate you literally got a, a minute or so to go uh, ultimate card bundle, right, this has been popular within this show, we've not got many left, it was not going to be long before we go to limited stock. So this one here, £55 or $75, as I said before, if there is anything that you're going to take advantage of that save five on, it's going to be this one here, because you're going to be able to get all of this one for £50 or $70. We're now into single figures when it comes to this bundle here. Platinum price, you're going to be £44 or $60, of course, taking advantage of that save more. Now, what have we got? We've got our 8x8 eight eight resist pad. Now, this would be worth $14.99 or $19.99. 24 sheets here. Now, essentially, this is a, 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 an iridescent foiled cardstock. So it's been foiled onto your, say, your white multi-purpose form of cardstock, and then that's going to create the resist for the inks. What you're also going to be getting is 24 sheets of your sunflower linen cardstock. Now, that's worth $14.99 or $19.95. You've got the most beautiful array of colours. You've got six colours 
and then you've also got two of each of these, sorry, four of each, six colours, four of each. Then what you're also going to be getting from the Venetian collection, which is one I still, I know I've been saying it all morning, but I can't believe this is in here. It's worth $14.99 or $19.95. You've got six colours, and again, you're going to get four of each. Now you've got different tones from that sunflower collection. However, they are going to complement each other really, really well if you want to use them together. So you're getting them six colours, four of each. You've also got your craft card as well. Now that's back in stock. So it's your A4 craft card, 280 GSM, 50 sheets, $11.99 or $14.99. But that's in with this bundle as well. You've also got your black matte card stock, $9.99 or $14.95, 300 GSM and 40 sheets as well. That's included too. You've then also got your Centura Pearl. Now this one here, it is your fresh white. It's double-sided, 310 GSM, and you've got 20 sheets of these ones here. That's included, worth $11.99 or $17.99. And then you're also going to be getting your A3 Centura Pearl pastel cardstock. So you've got your five colours there. You've got your baby blue, baby pink, you've got your mint, your lilac, and your yellow. 310 GSM, 20 sheets, five colours, four of each. All of that is what you're going to be getting for £55 or $75. You're saving $35.93 or $50.85 with a platinum price of £44 or $60. But of course, if you take advantage of that discount code that we've got for this week here, summer in the promo code S-U-M-M-E-R, you're going to get an additional five off. So then platinum price, this would come down to 39 pound or $55. Even if you're not in Club Inspire, you can still take advantage on that today's price. So then your today's price for all of that would come down to 50 pound or $70 for all of that. So one time use, code across on our website is lasting all week but it is as i say one per use and that is the one thing i would absolutely be taking advantage of when it comes to that code there it's all on shop the day everything that i've been showing you as well as michelle's been showing you but let's have a look we've got the result already in from uh, susie t and it is going to number one michelle thank you very much love that absolutely beautiful so that's going to go up against michelle within wake up call now it's going to go up against michelle again within monday makers two right that's it from this master class from myself and michelle susie t is going to be back again for master class as is charlotte and dean as well i uh, hope you have enjoyed this one i know many of you are saying that you'll be saving this one specifically because of the way that michelle explained the way that you're going to be doing your deep envelope boxes it's all there for you to do that you can go back time and time again and watch till your heart's content you can always go back and watch last weekend show or just this weekend last week the weekend before as many as you want create your own playlist across there and then this is when you can get the best out of whatever you buy from us here on crafters tv is the cardstock uh, i don't know if that's going to be here for monday maker so if you're sitting on the fence with that one be quick it's there.co.uk.com or .eu that value is spectacular but when it comes to the additional items check out that Cindy bag as well because that's also popular it was popular over the weekend it's still popular today because you never got that fiver code as well over the weekend so that's why many of you are taking advantage of that one now right we're away to go and compose ourselves for a couple of <laughs> hours we're going to grab something to eat something to drink if you are watching live we will all see you in a couple of hours time for Monday's edition of Monday Makers we'll see you then